250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like none other. I have another bomb news segment for you, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell, so you know when I am dropping. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Woo! When you talk about scumbag, when you talk about filth in society, these two take the cake. These two individuals, I wouldn't even say human beings, these two individuals, they have adopted five children only to do the most horrific, heinous, and inhumane things to these precious miracles out there in Claremont County, Claremont County, out there in Ohio. What's going on out there, Ohio? Talk to you, boy. How y'all doing out there? I know y'all some good. I know there's some good people out there in Ohio, but these two parents are not it. They don't belong in that category. I got a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. And I'm Rob William. Normal. And the more you dig, it just doesn't feel right. Tonight at 10, we are hearing from some neighbors after a Claremont County couple is accused of torturing and abusing their five adopted children who have special needs. Thanks for wow. joining us at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Chancellor Wynn joins us live in Batavia after speaking with neighbors about those allegations. So according to the Claremont County Prosecutor's Office, a detective here at the Sheriff's Office actually found videos that allegedly show, uh, w quote, worse than prisoners of war. That's the type of abuse that the Prosecutor's Office is saying is alleged against this couple in Claremont County. So tonight we went and spoke to neighbors to see if they had any insight into these allegations of abuse. Video footage, there's nothing you can say about it at this point. Like, you can't deny it, you can't run from it. Like, it's here, it's in our face. That's one woman's reaction to hearing the news that her neighbors, 49-year-old Matthew Robert Edmondson and a 63-year-old Charles Robert Edmondson, are facing charges accused of abusing their five adopted children who have special needs. The couple has now been indicted on five counts of endangering children. They were a regular family. The kids went to school, the husband went to work, the mom took care of the kids. According to the Claremont County prosecutor's office, sheriff's office detectives, and a child protective service workers discovered evidence of the abuse on Charles, the adoptive father's cell phone in April. They say they made the discovery while investigating him for engaging in sexual relations with a different child. Charles was convicted in that case and is currently serving three years in prison. The only impression I have of him is the angry man who walked around in his underwear. Claremont County prosecutor Mark Tocolve released a statement about the videos which reads in part Quote, the videos of these undernourished and naked children huddled up in a locked room in the basement on the stone cold basement floor like a pile of puppies trying to stay together to keep warm are nothing short of gut wrenching. He says the children have been in and out of the hospital for bruising, bleach burns and potentially internal bleeding. The neighbor I spoke with tells me she even recalls children's services visiting the Edmondson's home multiple times. Three or four of them at a time, different specialists, different doctors, different people just always here to check on those children so we never questioned it any further while charles is behind bars an arrest warrant has been issued for the children's adoptive mother matthew if convicted they're both facing up to 18 years in prison we've lived here 10 years and i've never had a conversation with the man it's just i've talked to matt multiple times i know her as a person but i can't talk about Chuck because I he kept himself very secluded. According to the prosecutor's office, the five boys who were allegedly abused were born with many medical issues and instead of being properly nurtured and cared for, they were quote, traumatized, neglected and abused. I hope the best for these kids. They're great little kids. I don't know who's truly affected by all of this. Um, they've already been through enough before they've ever made it to this house. So to find out that they had to go through even more once they got here, it just breaks your heart. 
Now, investigators say the five children were removed from the home back in February. Now, if you have any information about the whereabouts of the children's adoptive mother, Matthew Edmondson, contact the Claremont County Sheriff's Office. But for now, reporting live in Batavia with photojournalist Damaris horrible. Evans, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you. Would you like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. This is one of these stories that make you, well, make me, I don't know how y'all feel. I'm pretty sure y'all pissed off just like I am, but one of the videos, I'm gonna do a little bit of cussing, just a little bit, I still gotta get monetized, but at the end of the day, it ain't about the money, it's about getting my shit off. My shit is, these people need to be tortured. When you have precious babies, defenseless, they can't work, they're not old enough to get a job, they're not old enough to uh, take care of themselves. Notice, in order to take care of yourself, you gotta get a job, you have to have the competence, you have to have skills, you have to be of age. So when I take abuse against children very, very seriously, because here's the thing, they're defenseless. Economically, they're defenseless. Mentally, they don't know how to uh, communicate with adults because their whole life is relying on adults. They're programmed to trust adults because these, these big figures, adults, these are the ones that feed them, that clothe them, that guide them, that protect them. So their whole precious lives rely on adults, whether it's their biological parents, uh, foster parents, adoptive parents, uh, uncles, aunts, whatever, grandparents. These little miracles are absolutely defenseless, defenseless, economically, mentally, physically, everything relies on them. So when they're in a defenseless state, and you got these monsters that take advantage of that. They know that these kids don't eat unless they feed them. These kids, you know, don't get a proper bath and good and receive decent clothing unless it goes through them. I'm talking about the parents. So when they're in a defenseless state and they take advantage of that, these they, I, I wish I was one of the COs out there, one of them whatever prison they go into, Ohio State. I wish I was a CEO, especially that father, because it, it's been reported that he's touching on the kids, beating the kids, starving the kids. I wish I was a CEO up in there. And I heard uh, Tyrone, because I heard the, the the big black inmates, they love uh, fucking on the white boys. So frail, you know, weak, scary white boys. So if I heard Tyrone coming behind him talking about, uh, yeah, I heard what you did to them kids. Uh, can you come over here and explain to me your side of the story? That's Tyrone talking. Tyrone trying to get up in his butt. Trying to be, whatever he's trying to do, I'm going to let Tyrone do it to him. I'm going to let Tyrone do it to him. I'm talking about big black nigga. I'm talking about handle your business, Tyrone. Beat his ass because... Those babies need guys. They're already in the system. They're already in a situation to where they really need help. Their biological parents couldn't do anything for them. And then this sorry ass uh, agency, adoptive agency, they just put these kids with anybody these days. Do they do any type of checks? If you, you that are watching or you know somebody that are involved with child protective services, adoptive agencies, can y'all uh, let us know. I'm gonna do some research on it. I'm, I should do a live. I think I'm gonna do a live. If you guys want me to do a live on child protective uh, services and adopt child adoptive agencies, the protocol on how uh, people are able to adopt children, y'all let me know. I'll do a I'll do a live or I'll do a segment on it. I think this is very important, and I think we're gonna learn something new because this is absolutely gross how they just place these little babies with anybody defenseless they can't do nothing physically like I said they can't overpower the parents mentally they don't know how to communicate how how are you eight seven years old you know try to defend yourself mentally or try to communicate that you need help or communicate your emotions to an adult especially an adult who don't give a damn about you I hope Tyrone beat his ass I'm talking about beat that and I don't care about getting monetized on this video YouTube, I know, I know you got a platform to run. I know you got to put ads on certain shit, but this, this is one of those videos that, you know, as you become older, you become more, you, you, you as, well, as men, I believe, 
we it's a fine line between a villain and a hero. So what I'm saying, not, villain, not in the sense of harming children or harming women. Villain, as far as you know, men, we have a lot of aggression. We have a lot of ambition. With those ambitions, we know. I ain't gonna say it on here, but we know what it takes to get what we need to get in a uh, you know in a timely manner. But it goes against the grain. You talk about jail. You talk about you know, understand what I'm saying? It just makes your life living hell. We in a box. But at the same time, we all have a choice. So you can choose to do do some good in the world. You know, march to your own beat, put your imprint on the world, or just be scum like these two right here. These little babies did not deserve this, and hopefully they'll find a good home. If I was rich, I, uh, you know, shower them with gifts. You know, you know, maybe set up a pay for their, I don't know if they're going to get psychiatric coverage, because if the adoptive agencies just left it with these monsters, I don't even know if the state, the city, the nation has adequate resources to help people, help children get over these traumatic experiences. I don't know if the appropriate um, institutions or entities are available to help these children overcome what just happened to them, so shower them with gifts, shower all the babies around the world. They are the future and this old creepy white dude, I hope they beat his ass. I'm gonna leave it at that. This is defenseless. Beat his ass, Tyrone. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this couple, these monsters, scum, doing these things to these five adoptive children? And by the way, the news won't report this, but these children were black. 250 capital G.